Why is it that for every one of these sites we take out, it seems like two more appear in their place? Patience. Hydra certainly lives up to their name. I've hunted an actual Hydra. That was easier. Easier than this. A lightsaber, too! I live up to my name, too. I, I don't like that. <laughs> Hell of a prize, Crossbones, put on your head. Runt. Too bad he never said it had to stay in the like, body. Well, too The big bad thing about Sabretooth and the 90s kind of... Dead I will breathe. But... The 90s kind of eventually yeah, killed this, or right the early 2000s, rather. Sabretooth was supposed to be the guy Wolverine oh, couldn't beat in a fight. So when they're like, oh, Sabretooth is the second best at what he does, it's like, no, he's supposed to be, like, wrong. Compared to him? Good point. <laughs> okay, I like the line. Mm -hmm. Now I get to kill two runs with one claw. I don't like the voice Maybe choice I for Saber Cage in this. I never really liked his 90s design, design look for him. Else. I like that it's looking evolution, but I hate those boots. Check your ears, mm. Creed. They're just so stutter. too big and bulky. Yeah. Like, he, he should not be Juggernaut sized. He should be bigger than Wolverine, but then again, Wolverine is, uh... Tiny. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny considering Hugh Jackman's, like, over six feet. <coughs> well, someone did a, did a bit of a, a bit of a, one part of comic, was especially comic, comic Wolverine, sizing up to Hugh Jackman Wolverine. Your time has come! And big old size difference. Mm. You call this a wound? We well, just knocked some further your health off. Don't oh, we did just blow. We did just launch him into explosives. That would hurt a bit. Now, considering that Hydra shouldn't be in this game, I do like how they brought Sabretooth in as like. He, he's been hired by Hydra to take us out. It's like, okay, yeah, that makes... That tracks for how Sabretooth would get here. He's a mercenary. As opposed to Venom being taken over by Lilith. And... And Crossbones as well. You have earned this. I'm sure Sabretooth does not a, does not really like the fact that I'm using him as a bag to throw around and meet up all of his friends. Friends is a strong word. I was gonna say, does he even have friends? I mean, he he considers himself and Mystique to be in a bizarre open relationship. Isn't he the fat the fat? I'm not the fat for Trask. Uh, not Trask. Graydon Creed. I remember that coming with the X-Men cartoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then again, that could be his kind of old movie tale. Yeah. Great Graydon Creed showed up in the X-Men cartoon and he was running for president as racist anti-mutant candidate. Yeah. And T.W. Trask to basically make the Sentinels. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, if I'd taken him out. That'd be an indignity. I'm gonna rip you a new one. Who put you in charge anyway? Is that a steep blue? I think so. It probably is. Because he's in everything. He's been voicing Wolverine for a while now. That was your mm. one chance. I know in the one PS2 game I have related to Wolverine, they got Mark Hamill to voice him. It is a shame you chose to waste your talents chasing. Even though they got Hugh Jackman on the cover. You did not have to end up this way. What's and got the Patrick movie? Stewart to be Xavier. <laughs> What's up, Wolverine Origins? 
Yes. Well, no. I forgot what it's called, but it, it's, it's like it. It was attached to the X Men Two movie. Yeah. Just talking about one of the mo lovely knowledgeons. This guy's up. From what I heard, it was a very good game. Was it surprising? Because it have been the movie. The movie was not good. I saw that in theaters with my dad. I mean, I saw that in theaters with my dad too. So. <laughs> It was a birthday present. <laughs> well, could protect your places. Was that truly your best? Well, Wolverine was ac actually the character who introduced me to Marvel Comics because um, it was the early '90s. We had just moved to Virginia. Um, we didn't have a proper mailbox at the heart house we were renting, so we got our mail at a post office box, and the post office happened to be right across from an arcade in Spotsylvania Mall. And front and center in that arcade was the uh, X-Men arcade game. And I was like, ooh, that guy with the claws is cool! Who are these characters, and what's going on? And my brother's like, these are the X-Men! And I'm like, who's that guy? Wolverine! Wolverine? I love him! Uh, no, there's there's a V, you idiot. I'm in four! <laughs> Two spots hero, la friggin' da. Two spots hero, la friggin' da. <laughs> Who needs practice? Well, you need to practice on your dodging. Piccolo, get in here. Wolverine doesn't need to dodge because he'll grow back. So, yeah. Not quite painfully. Mm hmm. Very. Because some of the things that's been done to him. Now it's my turn. I suppose anyone remembers if Venom took two, ra Looks two like rounds of three to finish quick. off. There were like two different combats for him. Quick. What the hell are you Same doing? Two. Not much of a hunter, are you? You'd fit right in with I hope the people the that have to deal with this on a regular basis have decent auto insurance. Like, if they had a separate thing on some of them being like, in case of superhero slash supervillain attacks. Is it is that the collateral damage comics? The Sabretooth did not make the smart play. Nifty trick. Don't think he was expecting that thing around your neck to bite back. Can he heal from that too? Don't know, but I'm gonna make sure he doesn't. Sometime in like the yeah. past ten years, nice to I know, you. I know it was before the whole Krakoan age thing. Um, there, there was a comic where like, oh, Wolverine had been made into a teacher at Xavier's school for gifted youngsters, and so like, Wol Wolverine is just like riding his motorcycle somewhere. And suddenly he just gets hit by a trap, and it was a trap set by Sabretooth. And the only reason Sabretooth did it was just so he could, like, stop Wolverine, come and make fun of him, and then leave. I, I love that Sabretooth is not just, like, un an unapologetic monster. He's also kind of a dick. Know, kind of like how Mojo Jojo tricked the Powerpuff Girls into thinking that they wet the bed. I just don't like you! Okay, I'm okay with how they're bringing Sabretooth into this and how he's being part of the overall evil scheme. 
So Hydra hired him, and clearly not under Lilith's notice. Mm-hmm. And now Lilith says, you've got potential. Yep. This is scary. It sounds like you had some unexpected visitors out there. Those two beasts came out of nowhere. Who were they? Victor Creed and James Logan Howlett. But I'm sure they'd prefer to go by their current aliases. Sabretooth and Wolverine. Those two have been at each other's throats so, for So I'm decades. guessing the canon is set after... Then he is a werewolf? Wolverine dis oh. discovers who he is. I did not sense yep. from either of them. Because they are mutants. I thought he got the comic of the Wolverine you origins. Are... So do we, I think. Not be howling at the moon anytime soon, Hunter. It affects us all in different ways. There are some things you'll have to come through. Program and the God, the ass house is so contrasting between those two comics. Mutants being a big part of that. A blessing or a curse in the blood, depending on who you ask. I can explain further if you must know. In the meantime, I need to look into what's happening in New York. Wolverine is an honorable man, if a bit rough around the edges. Sabretooth, on the other Which hand, is funny is a considering he's Canadian. Maniac. The fact that he's got his sights set on you is definitely not good news. Wait, you know Logan? Who do you think first told me about you? You'd be surprised how many people have found their way into these woods. Over hey, the I, I like that way of bringing Wolverine into the backstory. Wait, he knows you? I yeah, this is the last he, he, he showed up a long happened. time ago because he One does time. that. Yeah. Again, I have a weird relationship with Wolverine because, like, there was a span in the 90s where he kind of had the Spider-Man thing going on where he showed up everywhere, and I'm like, oh, yeah, he's just Marvel's moneymaker okay, character. Nobody should like Wolverine. And then, like, the X-Men movies came out, and I'm like, oh, no, wait, when when he's actually being written in places where it makes sense for him to be, he's an amazing character. You say mutant as if it is a bad thing. In some parts of the world, it is a very bad thing. I guess it depends thing. on who you ask. You've been sleeping in the grave, well, so you've we lost friendship the point with her. No. The Mutant Registration Act, all that crap. So it is safe to say that things in the modern world are not easy for your kind. That's an understatement. So you and these other mutants, you all know each other from Russia? Hardly. We're all part of the X-Men. I mean, not currently. But I guess once you're an X-Man, you're always an X-Man. There's Just a joke like I could the make there. Hmm, I'm not going so. to. And this Sabretooth, he is a mutant. Does that make him an X-Man? He has well? briefly been an X-Men member. Not an X -Man. He He's Wolverine been an Exiles member. Who knows what their future True, but that was an alternate now. one. Yeah. I doubt they can remember either. He has been tracking. Exiles was a day. weird story. He was the president. I loved Exiles, but after a certain point, it's just like, it was him and not okay, this needs to else. stop now because you're kind of losing the thread. I mostly know the story from uh, Linkow's review of the other storyline. I will finish him. Must be most comics, really. Normally, I'd tell you no way, but I've seen your moves. If anyone can handle Sabretooth, it's you. Thank you for explaining this she to me. She barely handled him. It seems I have a lot to learn. Of course, mutant society is small, but super complicated. But all you need you to have know no idea. is that Sabretooth sucks. I thought it was Morbius that sucked. Oh. <laughs> Having Sabretooth wrapped up in all of this is another headache we don't need. I can only hope Logan handles him swiftly, before he causes too much trouble. How much do you trust this Logan person? Quite a bit, actually. He's a bit prickly, but he's dependable. The hell we don't. <laughs> I was going to say, look, I don't have patience for difficult personalities. That doesn't sound like a light side line. We we have Stark. We have Stark. We have Fate. Well, it's strange, but it's wrong it is. 
We are Deadpool. Exactly how dependable. He's probably putting confetti bombs in like everybody's bedrooms. That is quite a bit of trust. I am surprised you have never spoken of him before. The thing about, the thing about Deadpool, he is he good to his, his friends. Hmm? After this, there's I a. Not see him again for several more decades. I think that's at least a gun for hire by the name of uh, Renegade or Outlaw. I have a feeling we will be seeing more of Logan. Because some nonsense he was wrapped up in the time her apartment oh, got trashed. I count on it. And he helped to get a new one, or at least a new, a new sofa to replace the one that was destroyed. Yes, hello. Admittedly, he does make Bob's life a hell. 